This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To our new passengers, aloha and welcome aboard. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, Bob. Happy New Year, Tim. And, uh, uh, wrapping up the holiday thon 2014 i know it's been a very it's been a fun nine days it <laughs> okay i mean it's been yeah. it's been a lot of work but it's always fun it always always a good time always uh, great interacting with the uh, looper nation uh speaking of interacting with New- looper nation i had some questions about why i needed a diaper and sash hey, for uh, hey. uh new year's i'm not here and- to judge <laughs> I'm just it's saying. just what i do Somebody had to be the New Year baby. Exactly. And uh, last year, you know, you you did it, you know, begrudgingly. Well, I so, did, um, and it was your turn. I, I volunteered, so <laughs> and then and then I got to catch heck for it anyway. So uh, there will be no pictures of that, by the way. No, no. We'll, we'll have to come up with an artist rendering or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be even worse. Uh, oh my gosh! So uh, a great 2014, Tim. Oh. It's, it was beyond my expectations. It was just fantastic. All the loopers out there were just wonderful this year. Absolutely. A lot of new listeners, a lot of new uh, contributors to the show. It's been great. Absolutely. And we just want to thank everybody once again for a great 2014. Uh, looking very forward to uh, 2015. It's going to be fun and eventful. I got big plans. Big plans. I know you do oh. too. We've shared oh. these back and forth. It's going to be huge. 2015 is going to be great for uh, for resortloop.com and Looper Nation. It is. So very excited. But let's talk about Tim. Yes, Bob. <laughs> Margo. <laughs> Sorry. I Todd. I don't know, Margo. <laughs> I don't know, Todd. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's uh, let's talk about 2015 uh, for Disney. What's coming up in 2015 for Disney? Yes, you. you they have big I, plans as well. I've got I've got research. Whoa, that sounds official. <laughs> well, it's not. It sounds like eight and a half by eleven to me. <laughs> <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> uh, just as far as like their feature films are going. Um, they've got uh, quite a quite a few feature films coming out. The one my wife very excited about, uh, Cinderella, coming out in March. Yes, the uh, live action Cinderella that that looks very good. Uh, keeping with their whole uh, animal theme, uh, they did bears. I think last year was bears. Mm-hmm. This, this this year they're doing uh, Monkey Kingdom. That looks good for all uh, for all those uh, animal lovers out there. Exactly, Earth Day release probably. I imagine. Right, you know, kind of sticking with uh, uh, the stuff that Walt used to do. Yeah, with with all the animal stuff. So he'd love that. Good, he would love that. He, abs- he would. He really would. Absolutely. A um, little film coming out uh, in May called, uh, I think it's called Avengers: Age of Ultron. Have you oh. heard about this? I've heard something. Yeah. Mm. Ultron. Mm. That's like a laundry detergent, right? I think <laughs> triple action Ultron <laughs> concentrated. Hey, my- <laughs> it might be. I, I don't know. Maybe they're wash, washing their capes. Yes. You gotta wash it That's in something. It. Yeah, I suppose it got dirty the last movie. So. <laughs> Where's my super suit? Uh, uh, <laughs> I love that movie. I know, I know. I do. Uh, got Tomorrowland coming out. A lot of people... Uh, I'm excited about that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ant-Man, another Marvel coming out. I don't know about that one. Uh, I'm a little... People are excited. I'm not so sure. Yeah. I'm a little iffy myself, but hey, Marvel's not gone wrong yet, so... Right, right. A re-release of Aladdin in 3D. Oh, I didn't hear about that one. That's exciting. Yeah, that that could be very good. Uh, another live action. Uh, the Jungle Book book is going to be live action. Yes, I heard about that Come one too. Out. That's coming out in October. Uh, the Good Dinosaur, which uh, looks pretty good. And uh, finally, in December of 2015, Disney is going to release a uh, slightly anticipated... Star Wars Episode Seven. What? The Force Awakens. 
Wait, there's another Star Wars? Why, why aren't I notified of these things? It looks a little bit like a moon. That's not a moon. <laughs> you know, I got to throw these out there, folks. Uh, we, it's what I know. we do. It's, it's just there. <laughs> I will say, this good yes. dinosaur movie, the Pixar movie. Yeah. It doesn't sound very good, but I'll tell you what. None of the Pixar, what do you call it, treatments right. or announcements they mentioned for these movies right. ever sound good. Yeah. You really, know? Yeah, really. Really. I mean, they talked about uh, Up. I'm like, oh, that that, that, that sounds like it's going to be terrible. And it's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know what it is between the idea and what they the magic they do to it, but they always make a good, solid movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a, you know, and really... I haven't seen a bad Pixar original. Now the the you know Cars oh, two and yeah, Planes two iffy. and all that. Yeah. yeah, a little bit dicey there. But all of the 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 first runs are, I think they're really good. They every are. one of them. So uh, that's that. Uh, we've got some uh, movies coming out on Blu-ray from Disney. Uh, Big Hero six, which I love. Uh, One hundred and one Dalmatians is coming out uh, in February. Uh, Tinkerbell, uh, all those Tinkerbell lovers, they're going to like that. That's coming out. Yes. And um, uh, Alad- the Aladdin Diamond Edition is coming out in October. So I think I have the uh, Platinum Edition. Well, you, now you got to go get the Diamond Edition. I guess. So we bought that actually at the Grand Floridian when it came out. We got a, oh. uh, an Aladdin lanyard when it came out on DVD. That was a while ago. Well, you'll you'll have to get this one at the Grand Floridian. Then. Yes. Keep with tradition. Yes. Actually, they shipped it to us, but we did pick up the lanyard then, so it was kind of cool. Uh, Pre, one of those so pre-order things. Pre-order. So uh, I think uh, I think Disney's uh, movies are going to be phenomenal uh, this coming year. They have a huge slate of what sounds like really high-quality movies. Right. Right. Uh, this uh, this other one, Inside Out by uh, Pixar. Another one. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Um, so that that's what uh, kind of we got coming out as far as the uh, the movies are concerned, theme park wise. Um, we've got uh, the Sorcerer's Hat going away finally. Yeah, this month. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting. Wasn't a huge fan. Um, no, a lot of people weren't. So just I think what's most exciting for all us old guys is uh, uh, how what are they going to do? How's it going to look? Um, with the whole uh, uh, Turner Movie Classics taking over uh, the great movie ride, or sponsoring it, rather. Yeah, it sounds like the outside will be pretty much the same. Yeah. Unless there's yeah. a big TNT logo at the top and neon flashing lights. <laughs> it's the uh, the head of Ted Turner. Yes. A giant Ted Turner. Oh, I said TNT. I think I meant TMC. Either way, <laughs> it'll say Turner really if, big. If there's a big uh, uh, Ted Turner statue, there might be some TNT. Oh, a huge so. animatronic. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just stop right. Does he there. smoke? Does he get like uh, breathe we're fire? Just gonna, we're, like, we're, uh, uh, we're gonna stop. Well, yeah, we're gonna stop right there. Okay. Uh, uh, kind of big in uh, December of next year uh, of this year, I should say, 2015, December of 2015. Shanghai Disneyland is set to open. That'll be exciting. I think that's going to be very exciting. Yeah, I'll be anxious yeah. to see the coverage of that. Like, what kind of coverage we'll get here? Yes. Yes. Um, kind of big in Disney history. Disneyland, uh, all all this year, is celebrating its 60th anniversary. Wow. Yeah. So haven't heard if they're going to have any kind of special, um, any promotion of any sort uh, for it. But uh, Yeah, you know. they will. They will. It'll be a global celebration. Yeah. They're calling it the Disneyland Diamond Celebration. Yes. So uh, It'll be a salute to all theme parks, but mostly Disneyland. <laughs> And America. And America. Um, and uh, the uh, another version of the Paint the Night Parade will premiere at Disneyland as part of the 60th uh, celebration. So uh, don't know about that. And I believe, um, I don't have that in front of me, but I believe they're talking soft opening or, or at least some sort of opening for uh, Avatar Land in 2015 down in uh, Florida. That'd be cool. So looking, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, getting off uh, of the uh, parks for just a minute, um, the Disney's Castaway K, Castaway K, Castaway Key Challenge uh, is going to have a, a marathon, another marathon. Oh, okay. So, uh, so that was that's, very popular. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, of course, uh, the Disney Polynesian is is set to be finished in 2015. Yay! 
finally. <laughs> uh, Tear down these walls. And uh, and a lot of downtown Disney is is scheduled to be done. I know uh, this year. So uh, the beginning of your Renaissance. Yes, we're in the pre-Renaissance now. Pretty much we're going to enter the actual Renaissance phase. I think it's going to be fantastic. I think so as well. A lot of other stuff coming up uh, that they haven't officially announced yet. Uh, but uh, kind of looking forward to what uh, what we're going to see in uh, 2015. I think you're going to see a little bit more construction. Uh, in 2015, but let's talk about what we think is going to happen in 2015. What are your predictions, Tim? My main one, and this might not be a huge revelation to anyone, gas prices are really low. If they can stay low, this might be the biggest year ever for the Walt Disney World Resort, attendance-wise. Oh, I I agree. I have a feeling this summer is going to be ridiculous. At uh, at really all of the Disney parks. Oh, because it's going to be so cheap to get down there compared to flying now. People are gonna, aren't going to mind maybe spending a night or two to get where they need to go. Yeah, you know. Yep. Oh, I just think I think it could be a very huge year for the parks just because of I, that. I agree. I agree. What do you think? What's your what are your I, predictions for this? Uh, year? You know what? Tying in with that, I am going to predict that uh, you are correct in that and. Uh, because of that, that's, that's going to be one of the reasons, along with the great movies that they've got coming out, with the new Avengers movie coming mm -hmm. out, uh, the Pixar movie, and a Star Wars movie. What? Plus all of that, uh, I think you're going to see Disney stocks soar to uh, unprecedented levels, over $100 a share, uh, with potentially... Potentially, and, and this will tie into my second prediction, potentially a stock split. Oh, okay. I can uh, see that. For Disney to uh, get more money. You know why? Why? My second prediction. This is a big one. Okay. And I don't think we're going to see this. It, I think they're going to wait and see how this year pans out. But I think you're going to hear a prediction toward the end of the year, especially with uh, maybe at Shanghai Disneyland. Another theme park. What? <gasps> Either another international theme park or that fifth gate that everybody's Ooh. been looking for down in Florida. I love it. That's now that's just gonna be an announcement, obviously. They can't put that together in you know a few months. No, you can't. It will be an announcement that will be made. And I, I'm going to say it's gonna be if it's international, it'll be somewhere near Spain. 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 That's interesting. Because Spain's not that awfully far from Paris. Spain. Interesting. Well, Shanghai is not all that far from Hong Kong, but they, you know, well, there's true. a lot of, lot of folks in that area. That's true. That's true. Just saying. It's not like Ohio. Right. <laughs> of course, that's why we go there. <laughs> they would never put one in, in Ohio. No. Oh, one last. Can I throw out one last prediction? Absolutely. Right? Adventures by Disney will not have an adventure to Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. I know you're disappointed in that. Hey, there's there's plenty of stuff to see there, but yeah, probably not a <laughs> Disney <laughs> themed. Yeah, that was not very successful. But who knows? <laughs> oh, here's my last prediction for twenty all right, all right, hit me. Fifteen and beyond. The Disney Vacation Club has been doing huge. Yes. They've pretty much tapped out the deluxe resorts. Oh, you sure about that? Pretty much. All I right. mean, they could do something else. I see, and I heard something about this on another podcast, but it makes total sense. Mm. DVCs at the moderates. What? What? How? They'll have to design, redesign some rooms. Maybe you know, make put two rooms together, make one big one. Ooh. Make bigger what? rooms. More sweet like. More sweet like, exactly. Mm. And here's the thing: the resale market. It's probably mm. cutting into their sales. Mm. You go moderate where they'll cost them a little less because they, they might have at this point, I don't want to say tapped out, but they, they've taken care of the uh, top 10% <laughs> that would want DVC. You have a whole True. big curve in there that would like it, but they, they can't shell out that Polynesian no. Bay, Bay Lake Tower Grand Floridian money. That's true. So they're looking resale. So if it, Disney mm. can make something happen at a moderate level, DVC-wise, mm. I think that would be huge. I think people are clamoring. Because a lot of people want to own it, but you know they just can't shell out that much cash at the deluxe level. That you know that's a good point. That's uh, that's very uh, very astute of you. Well, thank you. And it, another prediction. Yeah, I could see a 
was it Port Orleans, Riverside? Is that the small one over there? Yeah. That could be totally DVC at some point because it's just small enough. Ooh. A couple years down the road, they just close it down. All of a sudden, just do a little redo over there, make it another DVC. Yeah. Now, I know it's close to uh, Old Key West. Yeah. Yeah. But if Disney Springs is as huge as they think it will be, that could be a huge selling point for it. Just throwing it out there. Just a little thing I, like I was it. doing. I like it. I like it. Uh, if let me just throw this out to you real quick before we wrap up. But what uh, if they were going to put another DVC? Because I thought of that. They'll they'll build another DVC similar to Alani. Where do you think they'd want to put that? Ooh, similar to Alani? Are you saying tropical or just somewhere? I'm else? just I'm just saying another DVC somewhere within the country or outside the country. I don't know. I know. I know. Disney was always a skiing fan. Like maybe something like Aspen. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. like that would probably be beautiful. That's what I was thinking. They've they've got the tropical. Yes. I think I think they're gonna go uh very uh wilderness lodge ish somewhere. Yes. Oh Vancouver's beautiful. I could see maybe something like that. Ooh. Perhaps. Hmm. Perhaps perhaps per chance. But there's no skiing in Vancouver, is there? I don't know. It's Canada. Isn't there skiing uh, everywhere up there? There's skiing everywhere up there. Yeah, that's not too far. I saw mountains. Moose and skiing. If you That's have mountains and gravity, I think you can ski. <laughs> mountains, snow, and gravity are all you really need for skiing, <laughs> is the way I look at it. You know what? Here's You need to break out your, your uh, VHS or beta tape, whichever one you have, I'm not sure, of Snowball Express and, and watch uh, little Dean Jones. It was on beta. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> we did. We had it on beta, and then I eventually found it on... Uh, I think I ended up VHS, and I think I think I have the DVD somewhere else. Uh, I think I have to look. I have to dig it out. It must be on DVD because I watched it recently, <laughs> within the past year. Yes, which explains why uh, this New Year's you were uh, you were the old man. That's of true. Last year, yeah. Baxter, you're, you're skiing backwards. That was a line <laughs> from a Snowball Express. The man will not watch any modern films. That's right. <laughs> Other people can quote Snow Iron Man. <laughs> Star Wars movies, I got Snowball Express down. (laughs) That and Captain Ron, between those two. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, Tim. Yes, Bob. Starting this 2015, uh, the brand new year, day one, that is all I've got. Oh, that's all I have, everybody. Everyone, thank you for a 2015, 2014, an exciting (laughs) 2015. It's been a long holiday-thon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for putting up with us. Putting up with us, yes. This has been the Gateway to the Magic. See you, everybody. That's it. And right here. Wally, you wired me to the carburetor. Honey. What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? Uh- about the